Hello, hello, hello! OMG! Welcome back to my channel. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I hope you are having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn, and I'm coming at you with my second CVS haul. Super duper excited to share this one with you. I did a baby deal, and my haul ended up being totally free and like a 13 cent moneymaker. We didn't have a big moneymaker, but I was so, so tickled with free considering I got some baby items. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. I was very strategic with this haul on what I picked up so that I could get my baby items for free. If you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy that you are here. Thank you so much for being here. Would you please let me know that you are new right down there and say hello to me so I can say hi back to you and welcome you to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you so, so much. How are you doing today? Let me know what you are picking up from CVS. I love hearing your guys' deals. It always helps spark ideas in me and it could help somebody else that is reading the comments. I haven't said this in a while. I need to say this every video. But if you are brand new to CVS shopping, check the description box. I have a link there where I did a newbie series and I walk you through five weeks of couponing at CVS and it should be really helpful. I go through all of the basics, all of the, you know, how to match CRTs with manufacturers, when you can expect to start getting CRTs, all of that. Don't worry about the deals. The deals aren't valid anymore, but it's not the deals that you need to worry about. It's the foundation to teach you how to coupon at CVS. So if you are new or newer, go ahead and check that out. Um, something I wanted to tell you and I forgot. Oh, the big, the big guy's not here. He's not here. OMG. He decided to take a nap in the front room. I'll get a shot of him when I get to the kitchen table to do the debrief. Um, I did all self-checkout for this haul. Actually did it yesterday. <laughs> I did all of my regular shopping yesterday for the haul that you already saw yesterday. And then um, I went to the unhelpful store just so I could try to get it all done in one day because I really like to do that because I actually had more shopping to do today, which I did. Um, and I used self-checkout totally. I did have one little snag that I will tell you about um, when we get to the debrief. I didn't film the self-checkout, but if you want to know exactly how to use self-checkout, I will leave that linked in the description box as well. I did a whole self-checkout transaction last week at CVS and walked you through exactly what to push and when to push it. And so many of you have said that it was super helpful and you had a ton of success now using self-checkout. That makes me so happy. A couple people, well, actually, I think just one, <laughs> just one commented that it didn't work out for her. And just remember, like when, as I always tell you guys, um, you have to have your extra bucks ready to pay. And I tell you that because your extra bucks are coupons. And when you're adding things after you hit total, it can screw the system up and it can lock the system out and it can knock coupons off. Just happened to me yesterday. Um, and it wasn't anything, well, it was something that I did inadvertently. <laughs> Forgot about a sale price, which is why my CRT wasn't working. But it's, it's a system issue. There's nothing you can do about it. So when we are doing self-checkout, we are going back and forth and sometimes you may incur errors when that happens. So nothing is ever like 100% foolproof when it comes to computers. So I've been trying to do smaller transactions, doing no more than three deals in a transaction, but I'm trying to keep it to like two different deals in a transaction, just so I'm not doing too big at the self-checkout because I am going back and forth. So there you go. If you want to know how to use self-checkout, check out the video from last week that is linked in the description box. All right, let's head into the store and let me share with you my strategy on how I was able to get some baby items for free. As always, if you enjoyed the video, 
make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate you. And if you are not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing and becoming part of this awesome community. Let's get to it. There he is. Snoozing in the front room on this bed. I don't know. With all his toys that he tears apart. <laughs> There's Gus! All right. We are going to be picking up a whole bunch of money makers today so that we can get our diapers for free. But first up, I'm going to grab some shave gel. This is not going to be totally free, but mixed in with all the money makers, it will be. These are on sale at two for six. And when you buy two, you earn back a $2 extra buck. Since I had the little hiccup yesterday, I'm going to do these in a separate transaction. I'm going to use these two coupons that I printed from coupons.com for a dollar off. And I have a $1.50 off two skin to mitt razors. Not razors, shave gel. So that's going to bring me down to $2.50, earning back a $2 extra buck. All right, let's do the money maker. The Schick uh disposables they're on sale for 5.99 when you buy three you earn back a five dollar extra buck this is a limit of one <laughs> i was gonna pick up a men's and then i changed my mind and just decided to pick up three women's so these are going to total me 17 dollars 94 i have a four dollar digital coupon on the app that i'm going to use plus i have two four dollar coupons that i printed from coupons.com and I have a three off 12 on Schick Disposables. That's gonna bring me down to 297, earning back a $5 extra buck. Next moneymaker is on the Colgate. It is buy two, earn a $4 extra buck with a limit of two. And I wasn't filming when I put them in my cart, OMG. So I grabbed four of them at $3.89 each. I have a $3 digital coupon off of two and a $1 digital coupon off of two. And I have those two paper coupons that I printed from coupons.com plus a three off 12 Colgate CRT. That's gonna bring me down to 658, earning back an $8 extra buck for a 144 money maker. Let's move on to the Revlon. It is on promotion, spend 10, earn a $4 extra buck. We're gonna max this deal out and do it three times. I think the limit is three. First thing I'm gonna grab is a concealer for $10.99. Then I'm gonna pick up a mascara for $9.99. And then lastly, I am going to grab a eyeliner for $8.99. So these three Revlon products are gonna to total me $29.97. So that's gonna qualify me to earn back $12 because it's $4 for every 10 that you spend. I'm going to use a $4. I forgot to show you the $4 face coupon and two $3 ones off eye, ones off mascara. I did get the $5 instant coupon on this card and I have a six off 18 Revlon. That's going to bring me down to $8.97, earning back $12 for a 303 money maker. Next money maker, because we need to pay for these diapers. We're going to max out the uh, Maybelline deal. It is buy any two, earn a $5 uh, extra buck with a limit of three. I'm going to grab a foundation that is priced at $7.99 in this store. Next up is going to be the Fit Me Blush priced at $6.59. I'm going to grab two of these. And by the way, I have no manufacturer coupons for these. Uh, I'm just going to be using CRTs today. All right, next is going to be the Twin Brow Pencils priced at $5.19 in this store. And then to finish out the deal, I am going to grab two single eyeshadows that are priced at $4.49 in this store. So that's going to bring me for all six of these products to $35.34 in Maybelline. I'm going to use a $4 off CRT off of the Maybelline Foundation. I have the $4 instant coupon from this week and from last week. And I have a $10 off when you spend $35 on Maybelline. That's going to bring me down to $13.34, earning back $15, making that a $166 a money maker. All right, next up is going to be the Irish Spring. You could do the body wash. I'm going to choose the bar soap. They are on sale two for $8. When you purchase two, you earn back a $3 extra buck. 
I got a CRT last week and I got a CRT this week. I am using no manufacturer coupons on these. So I have a two off when you buy two Irish Spring and another two off when you buy two Irish Spring. I only need to purchase two for both of these to work. So that's gonna bring me down to $4 earning back a $3 extra buck. So these are just gonna cost 50 cents each. But again, mix in with all the other money makers, they're gonna be free. So these are two transactions I'm gonna go check out and look at what I got. I got, I don't know, a $2 extra buck reward. That was kind of cool. I don't know why, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna be doing a self checkout for both of these transactions. And then I have one more transaction to go over with you. So here's my third transaction. I'm looking to pick up some free always pads. They are on sale two for $8. I am gonna pick up this Radiant, just one of them, because I have a CRT that is specifically off of Always Radiant or Tampax Radiant. So I'm gonna pick up one of those, and then I'm gonna pick up three packages of the Always Infinity. So these are gonna to total me $16. I am going to be participating in the glitch that typically happens. You could also do this with one set of the pads and one set of the tampons if you want, but I chose the pads. So I have a $3 off of two digital coupon. Those usually glitch with paper coupons whenever they are off multiples. And I have two $3 off two paper coupons that I'm going to be using. Plus I have a three off three liners or pads, a two off Tampax Radiant CRT, and I have a two off when you spend 16 on tampons. These are gonna make these totally free. Let's move on to the baby deal, so dang excited. Huggies are buy, spend 20, earn a $5 extra buck. I'm gonna be spending more than 20 because of the CRTs I have. So these wipes are $8.49, buy one, get one half price. So these two are gonna total me $12.73. Then I'm gonna grab two packages of the Huggies diapers, which are on sale this week, two for $20. So they were kind of limited in sizes. I wanted to get some bigger sizes, but I'm gonna go with the size two. So now my total for Huggies products is $32.73. I have an Ibotta rebate and a Ibotta bonus that I'll share with you at the kitchen table. I'm gonna use this $2 off one package of Huggies coupons. I have two of them. Plus I have a $1 off that I printed from scottbrand.com on two wipes. I also have a CRT for $1 off of Huggies and $5 off when you spend 30 on any baby care. That's gonna bring me down to 2173 earning back at $5 extra buck. Let's go over these final numbers at the kitchen table. All right, we are back at the kitchen table. Super duper excited to share this one with you and really kind of dive in to my strategy of how to get those ding diapers and wipes for free. First, this is not in with this haul. I actually did this today on a different card, but I did want to share it with you. I was really, really trying to make the Shopkick bundle work because we have an awesome Shopkick bundle for $6 back plus 90 scan kicks. If you buy a women's body wash, a women's six pack of bar soap, and a women's deodorant, and I just couldn't make it work, at least not for me. It would have ended up being a cost of close to $2 per product because there are no Ibotta rebates for the women's Dove um, and the men's Dove is not included with the Shopkick deal. So I just went ahead and passed and instead just did this deal. But if the Dove products, the bar soap, the deodorant and the body wash are something that you use, and that you love, getting them for $2 each is a pretty fantastic deal. So check out that Shopkick deal if um, these are products that you use. And if you had like the same CRTs that I have, I was just waiting and waiting for a deal to come around. And finally a deal came around and I still couldn't make it work for me. So I just ended up picking up the body wash. Now this would be completely free if you just did two men's body wash but I really wanted the women's body wash. So what I did was pick both of those up, which were $8.99 each, so $17.98 total. 
And I did have something funky happen in this transaction. So I'm gonna tell you about that because I always like to share this stuff with you guys so that you, you are more prepared because when you know better, you can do better. I used two printable coupons off of coupons.com. I printed them through Swagbucks so that I get paid for printing and I get paid for redeeming. I've had a few of you ask me, how do you let Swagbucks know when you've redeemed the coupon? You don't. It goes off of the barcode. You just look for your credit. I told you, I think on Sunday, it takes like four to six weeks, I think, before you'll see the credit in your um, Swagbucks. So I used two of those printable coupons. I had a $2 off when you spend eight on Dove body wash or bar soap. And I had a $3 off on any Dove body wash or bar soap CRT. So that brought me down to $8.98. I earned back a $5 extra buck. I earned back $2 from Ibotta for the men's and then $1 back from Shopkick. Well, a little bit more than a dollar because I did the scan kicks. I went ahead and did the scan kicks on all three products. So at least I could get 90 kicks for scanning the products. So that ended up being a cost of less than a dollar for both of those. So I was super duper happy with that. So just wanted to share that one with you. All right, so I'll remove these so that we don't get confused because they were not part of this haul and they are not in my final numbers. So this is everything that I grabbed and my whole focus for this haul was the baby items. My daughter actually just said to me, mom, I have absolutely no baby wipes. She got some diapers and stuff for her shower and plus I've been stocking up on diapers. She has no baby wipes. Well, since I had the five off of 30, I was like, I'm gonna pick up some baby wipes with this deal as well. So that was my whole focus of this haul. I picked up, a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need and some of it even that I don't want. <laughs> because they made me money to buy the things that I do need and I do want. So if you ever say to yourself, I'm only couponing for my household needs, that's perfectly fine. Like there is no right or wrong way to coupon. But if you would like to get your household needs for cheaper or for free, you may want to consider sometimes picking up things that you don't actually need or want because I guarantee there is somebody out there that does need or want the things that you can get as a moneymaker to help you pay for the things that you actually do need or want. So I did self-checkout. And this transaction, all three transactions, I had one teeny little hiccup. Um, so we'll go over that, but let's take a look. All right, so, oh, I forgot to tell you the weird thing. Dang it. Here's the weird thing that happened in this transaction. I had her scan the women's first. I had her scan the men's second. I hand over the coupons how I want them to be scanned. And most of the cashiers scan them exactly how I hand them over. She scanned the women's Dove coupon and then she tried to scan the men's and it beeped. And I said, well, it probably, the women's Dove coupon probably attached to the men. And then when you go to scan the men's, it won't work because a coupon has already attached to it and it is only off of men's. This is the issue with Unilever coupons. This is the issue with PNG coupons. We see tons of coupons that do this. It happened to me yesterday with my Skin Skintimate, or actually my Edge Shave Gel and my razors. One of my Shave Gel $1 coupons attached to one of my razors, making the digital coupon not come off. That's why I separated these today. So what she did was she voided these two off of the transaction. She scanned the, all the rest of my coupons and my CRTs, except for not my Dove CRTs. Then she scanned my Dove body wash, scanned the coupon for the women's right after. Then she scanned the men body wash and the coupon right after, and it went through perfectly fine. And then she scanned my two CRTs off of those. So be careful when you are buying products that are in the same family, they tend to do that. Again, that is why I separated my shave gel and my razors because I didn't want that to happen. And when it's a digital coupon, you don't know it. When it's a paper coupon, you may know what's happening. 
and can fix it right there like I did. So here was transaction one. I did the shade gel, the Colgate, and the Revlon. So I just did three deals in one here. All of my paper coupons scanned just fine. My $3 off two Colgate digital coupon and my $1 off one Colgate digital coupon did glitch because I did hand over two $1 paper coupons. This $3 was off of two and this $1 was off of one. My six off 20 Revlon, my five off 20 or my $5 instant coupon. My other card got a eight off of 20 and then the third newbie card got a 10 off of 25. So apparently those Revlon coupons are just random. Depending on your account, the instants are, everybody's getting a different value. I had a three off 12 Colgate. There was that $2 extra buck reward. I don't know why I got it, but super happy I did. And then my 150 off of two Skin to Mint Shave Gel. Handed over $14 in extra bucks. I had a subtotal of 183. Remember, I am at self-checkout. And like Hannah had told me last week, don't get your total too close to zero because sometimes it kicks things out at self-checkout. I earned back $4 and a $4 extra buck for the Colgate. I earned back $12 from Revlon. Hang on, am I showing you the right receipt? OMG. Did I just realize something? I should have earned back $8 from the Colgate. Well, dang it. For spending eight. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh, you guys. This haul still ended up being free. I thought the Colgate deal was buy two, earn a $4 extra buck. It's spend eight, earn a $4 extra buck. Oh my gosh. Just freaking notice this. All right. So we'll see a tracking on my receipt. Uh, $12 from Revlon, $2 from the Skin to Mint Shave Gel, and then I got some CRTs. Let's see if we can see. Look at, oh my gosh. 44 dang cents away from earning my next $4 extra buck. Ah! I still make lots of mistakes. So there you go. That was transaction one, which I thought went so perfectly until I just looked at the dang receipt. Ah! All right. Next transaction. And this one, I did the Irish Spring. I did the Skin Timid Razors and the Maybelline. So there's my Irish Spring. There's my Skin Timid Razors and then my Maybelline. So all of my coupons, which were uh, just my two $4 paper coupons is all I used on this and I did self checkout. There's my $4 off of the disposables, the razors. So it came off since I separated the shave gel and the razors. My 10 off 35 Maybelline, my four off of instant coupon off of Maybelline, my four off Maybelline foundation, my other $4 instant coupon off Maybelline, my three off 12 Chic, my two off two um, for, this says soft soap, but it said soft soap, um, Irish Spring. I think that was it, soft soap, Irish Spring. My other two off two on Irish Spring, I used $19 in extra bucks to pay. I had a $1.31 subtotal. I earned back $3 from the Irish Spring, $15 from Maybelline, $5 from the Chic deal and some CRTs. So many of you have been asking me, and I, I forget to talk about this because I've talked about it so many times that I just think everybody knows, but I know that's not true. When you are working with spend threshold CRTs, like I was, a $3 off when you buy 12 in Chic Disposable Razors. If I had two of those, $3 off 12 Chic Disposable Razors, I have to spend $24 in Chic Disposable Razors. I don't care if it's a generic threshold, if it's a four off of 20. If I want to mix a four off of 20 with a three off 12 shave needs, then I have to spend $32. You have to meet the requirement of each one. When they are quantity based, you only have to meet the requirement of the highest. That's why I only had to buy two Irish Spring Bar soaps and I could still use two quantity based CRTs. I did not have to buy four. So I hope that that's helpful. All right, so I bought all of this stuff and made a whole bunch of money on here. Should have been, oh my gosh, I still can't believe I did that on the Colgate. 
Um, should have been, or I made a whole bunch of money right here to be able to pay for these. I don't need any of this makeup. I sure as heck don't need the toothpaste and I don't need the razors. The pads we definitely will go through. Um, I don't have a whole lot, not nearly as many shave gels as I have razors and the uh, bar soap we will go through as well. So I picked up stuff that I did not need and really did not want so that I could get these for free. So in this transaction, I did the pads and I did the baby care. And here's where something funky happened. So there are my diapers, two for 20. There's my always pads, all rang up two for eight. And then there is my buy one, get one half priced Huggies wipes. So manufacturer coupons that I used was the two $3 off of two um, off of the always, two $2 off of one off of the Huggies diapers and a $1 off of two on the Huggies wipes. My $3 digital coupon for the always did glitch. My five off 30 baby care came off. My three off three feminine care came off. My two off of 16, spending 16 came off. And my one off of Huggies diapers came off. What did not come off was my $2 off of the Always um, Radiant, which I do have that right down there by the razors. I don't even know. You can't even see it. I'll just turn the razors. There you go. So, and it was attaching on the app. I always, always make sure that all of my CRTs and all of my digital coupons are attaching by scanning them on the app. I never chance it because sometimes things don't attach. So my subtotal was 273. I did get a little brave in this one. My subtotal should have been two dot or should have been 73 cents. I thought, let me bring my subtotal down to less than a dollar. I don't know if that's why my $2 off of the Radiant didn't go through. Now, when you are at self-checkout, and it asks, um, when you scan a manufacturer coupon, it makes you put it in the slot right away. I showed you guys that clip last week. When you scan your extra bucks, it makes you put it in the slot right away before it will move on. However, when you scan your CRTs, it does not ask you to put them in the slot. I always just do it at the end. Well, I could see on the screen that $2 didn't come off because you can see everything right there on the screen but I didn't know which $2 didn't come off. So I took both of these CRTs with me <laughs> so that I could see which $2 didn't come off. And it was this one. I don't know why. My guess is maybe at self-checkout, it won't give you them free because it would have made all four boxes of my pads totally free. So I don't know if that's why. If you are an avid self-checkout user, Hannah, if you are watching this, Hannah is the one that helped me. Do you know why? Have you ever tried this? I have a feeling it would have worked had I gone to a cashier, but I don't know. So that was that transaction, and I did earn back my $5 extra buck for the Huggies. So let's talk about final numbers, because this is super duper exciting. So everything that I picked up here, a sale price cost $161.37. I used $54 in extra bucks to pay for all of this, plus had subtotals between the three transactions of $587. So my cost was $59.87, even though I used extra bucks to pay and my PayPal debit card, because you can't use a gift card at self-checkout. At least I don't know how, and it requires the cashier to come over. So it's totally fine. I just use my PayPal debit card. So nothing came out of my bank account. Today, I earned back $46 in extra bucks. I was super duper close to beauty. I only needed to have $1.34 more for beauty. And I spent $65.11 towards beauty. So within 48 hours, I will earn back a $9 extra buck, making that $55 that I earned today in extra bucks. And everything cost us $59.87. Here's how this became a freebie for me. Uh, all right. So um, Ibotta has a dollar back on each one of the snug and dries. So I went ahead and I scanned my receipt. And with CVS, it hardly ever picks anything up for me. I always have to manually add the products and then scan the barcodes, which is not a big deal. So I did that with the Huggies for $2 back. <clears throat> And then, because it was my third time redeeming that rebate, there was a $2 bonus. 
Now, remember yesterday, if you caught my haul yesterday, I told you that my Userin um, rebate was pending. I scanned this one after my Userin rebate and I got it right away. So I can't figure out what's going on with Ibotta. So I scanned two. It gave me credit for three. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Like, you can't even correct it when you have to add it like that. I only scanned two. It said $2. Then five minutes later, I instantly got the credit. It gave me $3 back for the Huggies, and it gave me the $2 bonus. So I earned back $5 from Ibotta, making that $60 that we earned from all of this, and everything cost $59.87. <laughs> So it was a 13 cent money maker. So excited about that. Should have been a $4.13 money maker. Oh my gosh, if I would have realized what I did with the dang Colgate. So just to give you an idea, if you were to pick up, hang on, where did I write it down? I was gonna show you just the difference. Hang on. Okay, I got it. If I was a couponer that only couponed for my household needs, Technically, I don't need any one of these because I do have stock in all of them, but I did need this. These cost me $32.73. After my coupons would have brought me down to $21.73. I earned back a $5 extra buck, bringing that down to $16.73, and I earned back $5 on Ibotta, making that a cost of $11.73. So it would have cost me just $2.93 per package of diapers and per package of wipes. That's a pretty good cost. If I was a couponer that only couponed for what I need, that's what I would have paid. But instead, I am way more strategic about my couponing and I pick up things that I don't necessarily need or want because they make me so much money that I end up getting the things that I do need and do want for totally free instead of paying $11.73 for these. All this makeup right here, made me, between beauty bucks and the extra bucks that I earned, made me $15.92. That covered, more than covered my cost of the diapers and the wipes. And it also covered the $2 cost of the pads because of that CRT not going through. So if you are wanting to get things super cheap or even free, you have to sometimes pick up the dang toothpaste. I know we're sick of toothpaste. I get it. But there's somebody out there that doesn't have toothpaste that you can donate. I donate to a shelter regularly. Somebody can't afford to buy toothpaste. So if you want to get your stuff for free, get the dang toothpaste and donate it if you don't need it. And it helps you pay for the things you do need. Um, and then I just real quick wanted to show you. Because I go through spurts where I have people ask on and off. Um, for a printable breakdown. I don't, I don't do printable breakdowns because I don't coupon with a printable breakdown. I have never couponed with a printable breakdown. This is my printable breakdown. <laughs> I write my deals out by hand. I know how much it's going to cost. I know how much I'm getting back. Like this is how I coupon right here. So I do not do printable breakdowns because that's not how I coupon. All right, I would love to hear the deals that you are picking up. Share them with me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you again soon. Bye.